In this video, we are going to discuss processing the contents of an array. Um, so I've done a little bit of the heavy lifting here for us. Um, and I've set up just this for loop that will um, read in the number, like it will get a number from the user <coughs> and fill an array with those numbers. Um, and so just so that we can test this, I'm going to use the exact same um, loop from our last video where we are just outputting um, numbers at i equals numbers at i. Um, so I'm just going to use the exact same loop from our last video, like I said, just to check that this read-in is actually going to work. Um, but so we say input a number, and we'll do 5, and 6, and 9, and 8, and 7. And so we get 5, 6, 9, 8, 7. We can see that we are reading in correctly. Our array is storing values correctly. Everything is great there. Um, so let's say that uh, now that we've stored this, like this, uh, this, these values, um, we want to go ahead and do some computations. You know, let's uh, output the average and find the maximum and some other things like that. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so in order to do that, what we're going to do is we will just simply say, um, well, let's take the average first, and maybe that's all we'll show for this video. Um, but let's start out. We'll have an int sum, and we'll set equal to 0. And then we'll say for int i equals 0, and i is less than size, and plus plus i, sum plus equals numbers at i. So what this does is it iterates across the entire array, and at every point, it takes the number and it adds it into sum. And now we can output the average was, and we can do sum divided by size. Um, and you know what we're going to do, just to make this a little bit better, is um, hopefully we've gone over this before, I'm pretty sure we have, is a static cast double, and we'll go ahead and cast sum to be a double, so that we can, you know, accurately um, get a, or so we can get an accurate average here. So let's go ahead and just run this again, and we'll input a number, and we'll say, uh, we'll keep it easy on ourselves, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, and so the average should be 5, perfect. And just to make sure that's working, we'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the average was 3, which is obvious. Um, and to make sure that our static cast is working, we'll do 7 and 8 and 45 and 6 and 8, 14.8, perfect. And so this is uh, one way of processing the contents of the array, is that we can iterate across it and we can use um, like a running total or an accumulator to keep track of the values uh, stored inside um, our total. And there, are, I mean, like I mentioned, there are many, many things that you can do here. We can do um, the maximum and we'll just set it equal to zero. And we'll say if maximum is less than numbers at i, um, then maximum equals numbers at i. And there are ways you could optimize that, but it's not super important. And so we'll do the maximum was, and we'll output maximum, and L, and nine, over 9,000, 5, 4, 6, and 3. And the maximum was over 9,000.